What's happening guys, Josh here from everydayfba.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily put a custom domain onto your brand new system.io account. If you're not familiar with system.io, it is an all-in-one marketing solution that'll help you build a website online. It'll help you sell a digital product, physical product, build a blog, create a course, whatever it is you wanna do online, system.io can help you do it. It's similar to something like ClickFunnels or Build-A-Roll, only system.io is way more user-friendly and it's much, much, much more affordable. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get into this quick tutorial, but I do wanna share with you some of my results that I have been able to get just using system.io for this past month. I actually started in uh, the end of July. I migrated my whole business over from ClickFunnels and over from Aweber, which I was paying about $150 a month over to system.io, and I now pay just $27 a month that's crazy i'm saving a ton of money and i'm still able to utilize the tools that i need to be successful online so we're looking at just this month of august only and so far in this month i have made a total of 496 dollars in sales and i'm telling you this for one specific reason that amount of sales that i made this month will pay for two full years of system.io System.io actually lets you start for free and it doesn't hold back either. It gives you access to all of their tools, right? You can build everything you want on this platform for free. But if you want to go and upgrade to the startup plan, which gives you just a little bit more in terms of the contacts that you can actually have, that's going to be your mailing list, how many sales funnels you can have, how many custom domains you can have. It's only $228 per year, $228. That is only $19 a month. Even if you just go get Aweber, which really all it does is email marketing, that's going to cost you way more than $19 a month. And System.io does everything that ClickFunnels and Aweber does combined into one easy to use solution. Now I am going to show you how to connect a GoDaddy domain over to your new system.io account. But I did want to show you just a couple of the uh, templates that you could use, what you can actually build with system.io. Here's one that is a coaching template. Here's another one that is a beauty homepage for any beauty salon owners. You could easily customize this to any kind of industry you like. Here's one for selling single products. In this case, it's a chlorophyll, some kind of a drink here, detox shot. This one here is one of my favorite templates. It's a simple one page sales letter. So if you're selling a course or an ebook or I don't know, even an Excel file spreadsheet, which people do all the time, you can do that here quickly and easily. Even if you have a physical product, you can do that with this one page sales letter. And then I have a link in bio template. So if you're still using something like Linktree for your Instagram, for your TikTok, or for whatever social media platform you kids are on these days, definitely switch over to system.io because not only can you build out something similar, you can collect that email address and with system.io, you can actually follow up and email those people as well. So that's just a few examples of the sites that you can actually build. There's much, much more to this software, but let me go ahead and show you how to connect a domain over to your system.io account. And I'm going to be using GoDaddy for this. Now you might be using another domain provider. The process is pretty much going to be the same. You're going to be focusing on the DNS. So in your account, you're going to go over here and you're going to click on settings and you're going to come down to where it says custom domains. Click on that. And here you'll see I have uh, three custom domains. Well, actually two custom. System.io actually gives you a subdomain for free. And I've seen a lot of people on Facebook say that, uh, you know, the subdomain is just as good. But guys, getting a custom domain, the cost is very low and you're just going to look a lot more professional. Plus, it's easier to shout out in call to action. So if you want someone to visit your site, you're not going to say go to everydayfba.system.io. No, you're just going to say go to everydayfba.com. It makes it easier and more rememberable. So up here, we're going to click add a domain. And now we're going to type in the name name that we're going to add. So in my case, it's www.rarsupplyco.com. I'm just going to type that in and hit save. So now we have two records that we need to add to our DNS over on GoDaddy. Click on DNS and just hit add a new record. Now, both of these records that we're going to add, they're both C name. So just find C name for the type 
click on that and then you're ready for that first entry so first we have our full domain name we do not need to enter the full domain name we just need those three w so back over here under the name www and that's good there we'll come back and copy this entire thing here copy that over here we're going to place it in the value section and then the ttl you do not even need to mess with you got everything correct here www and then the value that system.io gives you then you just hit save now if it doesn't work for you you can see this did not work for me because a record already contains the ww and it's going to conflict with this record so all you have to do instead of adding this particular record is go down here into your dns and find that same c name so you can see here c name ww dot what we need to do is edit this and instead of rare supply code.com we're going to paste in that value that system.io gave us and we'll hit save we got to update records here it says success your record has been updated successfully so we got that first one done let me go ahead and delete this and we'll add that second record now so the second record like i said is also a c name type so just highlight c name click on that go back over here to system.io and this time we're going to copy all of this except the rare supply.co we just want everything before that first period so copy that information leave out that last part that is the domain take it back over here plug it in there and that's good to go next we'll have the value which is going to be this whole thing do not leave anything out of this one copy that over here into the value paste and when you're all set you're just going to hit save it's updating the records success it has been updated so now your system dio account is connected to your custom domain but we're not done yet we also want to set up a forward so under forwarding we're going to forward the domain so add forwarding to the domain and what we want to set up is that rare supply co automatically goes to ww dot rare supply co and the reason we do this is because if you just put in rare supply co it might not show your website but you got to set up this forwarding so that anyone that types this in without the ww will automatically get redirected to the official website once that's all good you're just going to hit save and it's telling me I need to verify my identity, which is just a safety precaution. And I'll just do that real quick. All right, verified with the code and the forwarding changes have been successfully updated. Now we are pretty much done with this whole system setup. We might have to wait a little while, but we can check to see if it actually worked. So over here on the website, dnschecker.org, we're simply going to punch in our URL right here. We're going to select C name from this dropdown and we're going to hit search. This is going to let us know whether or not we actually set up our C name correctly. If you get a bunch of check marks, congratulations, you did a good job. If you get X's, you did not do it correctly. So we got the green checks. It means we did it correctly, but it's still pending validation here in system.io. Now they say that DNS records can take up to 48 hours in order to propagate and fully, you know, uh, transfer over to where you want it to go in my case that has not been the situation it usually happens in about 10 to 15 minutes all right folks i walked away for about an hour and now you can see that domain has been added and the status is ready to use you can now use this and add it to any funnel so if you already have an existing one for instance i'll use this link tree one we'll go over here and we'll go into the settings and right here you can choose your funnel domain now i can choose that rare supply co hit save let me actually click through into this funnel and here you can see this is the one page that i have and it says the url path is rare supply co and then it has this other uh, little tagline on it we can just delete that right if we want this to go direct to the home page we'll delete that and hit save and now when we go over to this funnel it should automatically go to this resource page that i have and boom there you go quick and easily here's the domain rare supply company and again this is an example of a link in bio template that you can in fact use system.io has been a great platform i'm really loving it since i've made the switch from click funnels and aweber i don't regret it one single bit because it's working like magic and plus it's a very low cost for anyone wanting to get started building an online presence or an online business if you want to get started with system.io use the link in the description or in that first comment shoot me an email at hi at everydayfba.com let me know what you're trying to do with this software and i might have some templates and other things that i can shoot your way for free 
Use the link in the description or that first comment and get your free system.io account started. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.